Hey, 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 this is Boat Doctor <coughs> out in the 25 Admiral. Great tuna boat. Good fuel efficiency. Got a set of twin 200. 22 degree entry, good straight. 135 gallon fuel tank. I'm going to put in about 50 gallons uh, non ethanol. Dual wipers, Garmin Phantom Radar. Got the Garmin Steady Cast. I got to calibrate that. Trumpet horn, pulpit. <clears throat> that may need some help popping that down on these they should have like a roll roll down so when you want to drop your anchor the weight of the anchor will drop it down two speed with a brake <clears throat> keel roller <clears throat> not meant for the keel actually to ride on that the bunk should be maybe adjusted to get a little higher off those fenders because it's sitting pretty low Top mount coupler, about 23 inches from the bottom to the top. Brake fluid under there. Emergency brake kit for the brakes for the trailer. Two and five sixteen inch ball, flat flip. Heavy duty safety chains, flat five on the trailer wires, foot jack, spare tire. Okay. We've got six lugs, heavy duty, so those are at least 15, 16 inch. Yeah, they're 15 ST, 2 75 r 15s on the tires. Uh, probably 60 pounds tire pressure cold, about 80 pounds torque on the lug nuts. Good, got the oil hub, brown good, right pad. 10 pounds out there, 10 pad. 14 by 17, that's a left curve, that's a right, 150s. And I gotta change that up there so it reads 135 gallons. Uh, and I need a drain plug for up underneath there too. Zinc, uh, inline four, these are easy to change the oil. It looks like they changed that too. You have to take off the side casing now. You used to just be able to come out through the back, but the drain plug's right in there probably. Stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. Good on fuel. That we're 150 is our proven motor dive ladder, 2022. Got uh, U-Flex uh, hydraulic steering. Gear bath oil hubs again. Rear deck DEC controls. The shut off switches. We got a little Garmin in the back. <clears throat> Nine inch. We got deck lights, rocket launchers. Ton of room in here. And I'll show you more of the inside when I get into the boat. You got your BT-51 uh, transducer. We'll see if we're at 15 gallons. Nope, we're at 8. I need to get 15 more in there to get 50. So I guess I could get in here and do this while that's filling up. You got wrap rails. Force down hose. Rear deck. DEC controls, foot toe holes right there, primer bulbs are up underneath here, so I can sit there and prime these from right here. Let's see if he, uh, I don't think he did. That means that's gonna take a lot longer for me to prime these. So I'll worry about that later, I guess take a while your other one's up underneath there ten to one he didn't fill these filters up with fuel and that means it's gonna take a while okay this is a discharge right here where you can switch between the boxes and this is your pickup for your wash down picks up here and then that one there's uh, like your bilge that's for your fish boxes to pump out the back and that switches between the tanks but I don't know what that one's for that's that's a pickup like for a live well or something so he must have a live well in here somewhere. I'll have to check that out. It's news to me. 
and we got 11 gallons. Let's check in here. That's just a, there it is right there. Fish box right here, and I can pump this out. Stick with the Yamaha filters too, by the way. Unless he had that plumbed, because that's drains right there. Unless he had that pl plumbed and he's gonna put a live well in the middle of this. You know what I'm thinking? Because here's your thing. This is right here. Let's pop that out. That's your overflow. But I don't see where there's a. Oh, right here. It is. Right here. So there's your live well right there. And this is your overflow tube that goes in there. I'll see if this one has one. Yep, sure does. Right there. Expansions for overflow. And we're at 13. Bench seat, bench seat, six people in here. Nice captain's chairs. And then back in here is where they're smart too. They put their battery switch right here. Under here they put the batteries instead of back there. See, it gives you so much more room back there. There's your batteries. A little storage here. Storage here. Storage there. Storage there. Got your V berth in there. Quarter pots way up there. That out's a lock before it shut pushes in like this. Garmin, Garmin. And that's your instrument. And they are waiting for a fuel flow, I think. Uh, that he can get his flow on this gauge and the gauge in back. Right now it's on this gauge, but I can't get nothing onto this gauge. Which I thought this one would jpeg over to this one so that's something i don't know wipers the windows that pop open i like that idea boom boom and you got your nav lights they all work wipers worked spreader lights are in the back i can see them on the motors they work uh the horn works these are this is for your fish box your live wells right and left this is a spare. This is wash down. Fish box that pumps out those fish boxes back there. Builder pumps, trim tabs, key, start all, start individual, DEC, Garmin, that's probably AIS. So we're going to turn on the lights here. And the rest of the video is going to be about out in the water. So this is a 2500. There you go. So I'm going to stop that. So I just need to get a plug, there's your Garmin, there's your Steadicast, I need to calibrate that, and let's go to the water.